I just miss everything we take for granted, like even just putting my hair up in a ponytail. It can be the simplest things. And then, of course, there is Molly. You still think about Molly? I do think about Molly every day. I still write on her wall from time to time on Facebook. I mean, I'll, I know that she'll probably never read them, but hopefully God will like relay the messages. That's all for now. I'm Lester Holt. Thanks for joining us. Listen to The Thing About Helen and Olga, new from Dateline, wherever you get your podcasts. The holiday season has arrived, and so has the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your Ford dealer. It's the best time to get a Ford SUV. Get a Ford Explorer with 0% financing for 60 months and 1,000 bonus cash at your Southern California Ford dealers. NBC4 and Telemundo 52's Help for the Hungry is feeding families in need. Text H4H to 41444 or donate $10 at Ralph's or Food for Less and take home a tote bag. Brought to you locally in part by McDonald's. The LG Signature OLED R, the world's first and only rollable TV. There's an LG OLED for everyone. The holiday season has arrived, and so has the Get Holiday Ready sales event at your Ford dealer. It's the best time to get a Ford F-Series. Get a Ford F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months and 1,000 bonus cash at your Southern California Ford dealers. This is NBC4 News at 11. And right now at 11 o'clock, another Christmas COVID surge, record shattering cases and hospitalizations in some places as the Omicron variant continues to spread. A good evening, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Colleen Williams. We're already seeing plenty of disruptions. We're talking sports and entertainment, either canceled or postponed. And the more people are on the move, the more it will spread. This is the second straight night we've seen this kind of traffic out at LAX. And today, Los Angeles County reported more than 3,300 new cases, the most in months. Orange County reported its first Omicron case. And New York State has the highest one-day case count for the entire pandemic. We have team coverage tonight. Mario Solis with more on the COVID outbreak and how it's impacting the Rams game this weekend. But let's start right off with Robert Kavasik, who's in Hollywood for us. Robert. Actually, we are at the Music Center in downtown Los Angeles, Chuck and Colleen. We are here to let you know that if you plan to see a Christmas Carol this weekend, well, think again. Let me put it to you this way. If you are making a list and checking it twice, that should also include your plans because they could be changing. Tonight at the Pantages in Hollywood, Hamilton is happening. At the Amundsen in downtown LA, an announcement this evening, COVID is now canceling a Christmas carol through Christmas as more cases are reported within the company. The folks are really sad. But they, you know, understand also health and safety comes first and the practical matters of what it takes for the show to go on. You know, this is really serious time that we want to make sure we, we take all precautions we should. In Manhattan, breakthrough infections among the Radio City Rockettes, forcing the abrupt end of the 2021 season. It comes after Hamilton on Broadway and other shows also canceling performances due to breakthrough cases. New York State now marking a single day record for new infections during the pandemic. As numbers climb in L.A. County, the Department of Public Health warns cases could keep pushing up, especially with the coming holiday week. So far, no sign the rise in cases has impacted people's decision to travel. Some are worried. I'm very concerned about it because the flights are full, inside the lobby is full, on the planes are full. Others unfazed. Already got vaccinated, not really worried about it. Triple A estimates airlines are seeing three times the number of passengers compared to last year and projects 100 million people will travel 50 miles or more over the holidays driving or flying. I want to show you another live picture now from LAX as this busy holiday travel period is now, as you can see, fully underway. LA County Public Health has said that the Omicron variant will spread wildly and widely, especially when we have people moving and people traveling.